Ray, let me I, let me interrupt know, you for a second there it. because we have Senator Jeff Flake, who is on the scene, is speaking now. Uh, I, I just, just bat, bat it and then there's just fields, fields and balls, balls in, uh, in center center field. Field. I need. And we're standing, standing near Joe, Joe Barton, Barton um, watching, watching some, some batting, batting practice. practice. And, all and all of a sudden, we heard a shot, shot, a very, very loud, loud shot that, that everybody, everybody thought sounded, sounded like a gun. gun. And then, and then boom, rapid, rapid succession, succession after, after that. that. He, had he had a rifle, rifle of some, some type. And, and uh, uh, it, was it was a obviously a large, large gauge, gauge of rifle. rifle. And, and um, there were people in the field. One staffer was shot out of the field. And he, and he ran, ran uh, with, with the wounds to the dugout. dugout. A, lot a lot of us dug, dug, dove, dove into, into the dugout, dugout and, and uh, tried to get, to get as many as we could. could. But then, but then at, at that point, point there, was there was firing behind, behind us from, from the security, security detail of Capitol Police. Police. And, and I started, started yelling, yelling back, back <laughs> are, you are you friendly? Are you friendly? friendly? Making sure, sure that, that was our guy. Because we didn't know if there were other shooters that had us surrounded and come into the dugout. Um, so, so we didn't, we didn't know, know whether, whether to, to run, run or not, but as soon as we found, found out we had, we had a friend behind, behind us, us and uh, we stayed, tried, tried to keep, keep down. down. I put my head up at one point and saw the shooter behind, behind the backstop, um, or behind, behind the fence, fence but he, he could he still, still had a line of shot, shot a line, line of fire, fire into the dugout. dugout. Firing and, through the fence? Well, he was, he was firing around, but he still could have fired into the dugout. That's why he kept everybody down. Joe Barton's boy uh, was here, 10-year-old, just shagging balls, and he... Uh, we got him into the dugout and stuffed him under the under what, the bench. Did Joe, Barton here, who, uh, Joe Barton is a uh, uh, congressman from Texas. Did He's this appear to did this appear to be a coordinated attack? Um, well, it looks like only one shooter. Um, so uh, I, you've, you've got to assume he knew what he was doing here. Said, whether whether he was targeting certain members, we don't know. How long until he was down? It was uh, at least 10, it seemed like a lot longer, I could tell you, but it was at least 10 minutes. Senator, did uh, you realize that there were uh, Capitol Police officers armed with you here? Yes. You, d you knew yeah. ahead of time, so. We did, we did. Uh, Steve Scalise is a member of the leadership team. He's the whip, and so he has a security detail. Uh, there are two of his detail were shot. Uh, one African-American gentleman in the, shot in the leg, and I believe he's the one that brought the shooter down. He ran around for quite a while with a leg wound. Uh, returning fire and then after I got out to st I was the first out to Steve and then Brad another member from Ohio who's a, a physician came out and we applied uh, pressure on the wound um, and he seems okay to yeah you? He, he was coherent the whole time uh, but boy he, he laid out he, he laid out there for at least 10 minutes Senator, alone this, in the okay, field and we just we shooter, couldn't get to him while there were shots played. which one it's right here, exactly here. Right. did the shooter say anything uh, not that uh, there was a lot of yelling going on, but I, to tell you the truth, some of the other members had different angles, so they may have heard him yell something, but uh, but I didn't. But the two security detail, I think the the woman uh, was Crystal, is her name, was was shot uh, I think pretty early, and she went down, and so uh, the other gentleman was was returning fire. What so it was a female police officer? Uh, female, uh, yeah, Capitol Police officer. She's wounded. She was taken uh, airlifted. We heard someone was maybe shot in the head. Is that right? Uh, no, there was a, a I think a gentleman by the name of Matt uh, was shot in the chest, and so he was uh, he was taken, I think, by ambulance. And just what do you make of this? <sighs> what do you make of it? Uh, you just you have no idea, you have no idea. But uh, I uh, got uh, Steve Scalise's phone and called his wife, and uh, I just didn't want her to to uh, wake up and hear um, the news and not know what was going on. So I talked to her. Senator, what specific members do you remember being in the dugout with you? Um, Chuck Flashman, um, Marty, the photographer, was there. I think Mo Brooks came in. Um, during that time, you'd see more and more pile in. I think there were about 12 some staff, uh, some members, maybe six, eight members um, in the dugout. And But like I said, there were people hiding behind trees. Um, there's a dog park over there, and there, I think there are always people over there, so I think they were running the other direction. You said 10 minutes to get the gunman down, but you had security details. What took so long? Uh, he was, he had, he had a lot of, uh, he had a lot of ammo, and I think he, he must have been secured behind the uh, third base dugout for a while. So it was tough to get to him. He took and a I'm, tactical standpoint. Uh, I've, I've, it, it seemed so. Uh, initially, he was right out in the open. Marty, our photographer, saw him raise the gun for the first time, the rifle. Um, but uh, he said he thought, why in the world is somebody 
bird hunting out here at this time. Just, uh, I look like 40s, maybe 50. Um, white, dark, dark hair, white, um, with a blue shirt on. I think jeans. My view of him was just quick behind the dugout, and then when I realized he had a line of sight into the dugout with all the members there, um, then then we we uh, obviously went back down quickly. And there were reports of 50 to 100 gunshots. Obviously, that was because yeah. Capitol Police were returning yes. fire. Uh, yeah, yeah, that uh, 50 would be an under understatement, I'm quite sure. Senator, uh, we're now being joined by a national audience. Can you recap uh, exactly what you saw? Uh, well, we were, there were, we were doing batting practice, and there are a number of members and staff uh, fielding. Uh, Steve Scalise was on second base, playing second base, fielding balls, and um, all of a sudden we heard a, heard a loud, very loud shot. It, everybody thought, that sounds like a gun, and the gunman was over by the third base dugout with a clear view of the field. And Okay, we're okay gonna, so you have been hearing We're going to keep an eye there on, on Senator Jeff Flake, but in the meantime, we're getting more details coming in right now. I want to go to Brad Garrett as well. Pretty chilling scene described there uh, by the senator. More than 50 shots, 50 to 100 shots. Uh, a, a male age is in late 40s, 50s, securing himself behind the dugout and going, you know, shooting for up to 10 minutes while, while members of Congress running for cover, including uh, their kids. This was a person who came prepared to kill. 